Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video and I wasn't planning on filming a ship with me today during my ship time. However, all of the purses and the one accessory that I received in my thread up mystery name brand handbag box have sold and they all will be featured in this video. So I wanted to film this, include those, go over all the numbers and exactly how much I made from that box. I thought that would be really interesting and I figured why not just go ahead and film all my shipping for today. So if you want to see exactly how much I made profit wise kind of thing, that will be to come from that box if you watch the unboxing. Okay, so starting off, we first have this bra from Wakol, which is an excellent bra brand to find and sell. This bra is the Simone Sports Bra in a size 38G. It is a nice neutral tan color. This retails for around $70. I listed it at $35. It, it's in excellent condition. And after about a week and a half, I got a $29 offer, which I did accept. My earnings were $23.20. I paid about a dollar for this at the bins. It's so lightweight. And so my net profit came out to $22.20 on a bra. So make sure you guys are keeping an eye out for lighter weight accessories that can really help to supplement your sales. Well, Cole is an excellent bra brand to find. Um, let's see, Third Love is another good one. I'm looking, where's my, oh yeah, Torrid bras sell really well for me. Cacique bras, which is the Intimates line within the Lane Bryant brand. Um, some Victoria's Secrets bras can sell okay, but I don't pick up every single one that I find. Free People Sports Bra bras, Free People Movement Sports bras sell really well. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting. If I if there are any other really good uh, bra brands that I like to sell, I will put them on the screen now. Um, and oh, there is one called. Oh, what is it called? Let me see. I'm going to have to look it up. But I've sold it a couple times now. Fleur du Mal. I think it's a French kind of brand. I sold a bra that I picked up from the bins probably for about 50 cents for $43 from that brand before. Again, I will put the name of that on the screen. And yeah, definitely if you see any kind of bra or accessory in general that looks high quality, look it up. It can be worth the pickup. Okay, next up we have an H&M dress. Even though this is just a mall brand, I did want to get this particular piece because of the novelty print. It has these really fun monkeys all over wearing crowns. And also the cut of it, it is a little bit more formal. It's kind of a satin material and then it has a tie at the neckline, really pretty. Honestly, it looks more expensive than H&M. Like I could see this being an anthropology piece. It's really well made. So yeah, I did grab this from the bins because of those reasons. I listed this and it did not sell within 60 days. And so it has been relisted. I've actually had it for probably about a year now, so. Definitely did not sell within 60 days, but that is the required amount of time that something has to be listed in order for my posture VA to go in and relist it. And so, yeah, relisted at $32. Someone liked it, and so my posture VA sent them out a $28 offer with discount ship, and they did accept that, making my earnings $19.42. And my profit, $18.42 on this dress. So don't discount mall brands if it's a really 
if it's a piece that has a lot going for it. And also make sure you have a virtual assistant. I highly recommend Posture VA. I'll have the link down below to sign up for a discount. My code is McKenzie20. That dress was relisted by Posture VA. The old listing was deleted by Posture VA. They copied all the pictures and description over and then it sold because Posture VA sent out an offer on it. So the virtual assistant really helps me out. I make a huge percentage of my sales by using Posture VA. Next up we have this size medium Zara Woman plaid. It's a Glenn plaid printed boxy contemporary minimalist blouse top with these fun fabric covered buttons on both sides. Again, this is just a mall brand, but I knew that I could add a ton of keywords into this, some of which I just mentioned, contemporary, modern, min minimalist, office, career, academia, preppy, clueless, anything that has a plaid print, I do tend to add in the keyword clueless. That might be a little bit overkill, but you never know what someone is searching for. So this is actually another relisted item. I had it relisted at this one. I, I have only had a couple months now, maximum two and a half months. So this was relisted at $28. Someone liked it, and so again, Posture VA sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship, which they did accept. My earnings were $17, and my profit was around $15 for this. I did grab this from the bins. Okay, moving on. We have, okay, we have our first purse to have sold. So, this one is a brown Michael Kors purse. I'll add a picture of it on the screen of what I took because I don't really want to pull it out. I've already put paper in it and put it in here. So I'm going to add a piece of paper on top with a thank you sticker and then seal this box up. This is my box number seven and it does ship out a lot of bulkier items like purses, boots. So I listed this bag at $30 because it did have a flaw on the handle. The outer edge, the lining to the outer edge of the handle was coming up in like an inch and a half, maybe two inches section. So I listed this at $30 and it did sell for full price. So my earnings were 24. I paid $23.80 for each of the five items in the box. And so my profit on this one purse came out to 20 cents, but honestly, I am still happy with that because I would say this was the kind of weakest link in the box considering it was flawed. And so to even make any type of profit and not lose money on that, I'm happy with. That's your ideal outcome with a flawed item or, you know, kind of the weakest link in the box is just making your investment back so that it does not drive up the cost of the other items. Okay, second piece. After I get through all five, after I shipped, have packaged up all five of the bags and accessories from the thread up box, I will go over the numbers. So the overall numbers. Now I'm just going over the individual numbers. So this one is the gray Michael Kors bag that I got in the box. Again, using my box number seven, I'm just going to seal this up really quick. So I listed this one at 40. It, it did have some wear to the suede kind of discoloration very light very minimal nothing major no major flaws so yeah i listed at 40 and i was immediately offered 30 by two different potential buyers and so poshmark has this feature now that if where if i make an offer and then someone else makes an offer poshmark will notify me and say hey 
we see you have made an offer on this listing, but someone else has made an active offer. So if you want this, act fast. And so yeah, someone, the they both got that notification basically and the first person ended up just buying the purse for full price because they didn't want the other person to potentially have, have offered me higher. So yeah, it ended up selling at 40. My earnings were 32. Again, my cost for this bag individually was $23.80 and my profit came out to $8.20. I do want to say that is my that $23.80 is my all-in number. That includes what I paid for shipping and taxes and everything. So um, yeah, that's the full amount that I paid. Okay, next back to clothing. We have this Zara extra large button down velvet dress, long sleeve. Really pretty. This is great going into fall and winter time. A closet winter staple. This was yet another relisted item. It was listed at 30. Someone liked it, and so I sent them out a $27 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $18.62 and my profit right around $17 on this dress. I did once again pick this up from the Goodwill outlet where we pay by the pound here in Houston. It is $2.49 per pound. Everything usually works out to like $1.50 to $2 per item depending on weight, obviously. We have another purse. Dooney and Burke. Really pretty pink. This is called the Dillon bag, D-I-L-L-E-N. It's obviously genuine leather. It is authentic, really pretty. I listed this at $65. This also had a little bit of just kind of like normal wear at the corners. Someone offered me 55 within a day or two of being listed. I did accept that. My earnings were 44. And my profit on this bag came out to $20.20. So not too bad for something that came straight to my door. Okay, so get this label on here. Okay, our last purse to sell from the box. We do have one accessory after this, but this was the last handbag to sell. This was the Brahmin bag. This was the best bag in the box. Just uh, in my opinion. And it did sell for the most. So I listed this at $95. Within a couple days, I was offered $85. This again, this also had just kind of minimal wear at the corners, nothing major. I accepted the $85 offer. My earnings were $68, and my profit came out to $44.20 on this purse. Oh, you know what? I didn't add. Well, actually, yeah, I wrapped this one in plastic just because I don't fully trust this box. This is a reused box. I cover up any uh, any old labels with these priority mail sticker sheets, which I order free from USPS.com. I have the information for all of my shipping supplies that I order in the description of this video. But yeah, I use these to cover up any old labels just so that they don't get scanned or anything like that. And these also help to make it known that this is a priority mail package which is not necessary, you don't have to do that, but it's a good idea just because if the buyer's gonna pay priority mail shipping, it's good to know, it's good to let others know that this is a priority mail shipment. Okay, so yeah, $44 profit on this bag, not too shabby, I would say. Brahmin is definitely a brand of handbags that people know and love. A lot of people collect them. They're very high quality. And our last item for, that I received in the thread up box and last item to sell is the Kate Spade little key holder. It's in this really pretty pale pink color. 
so I listed this at 45 this was flawless nowhere I was offered 30 which I did accept my earnings were 24 and again I did pay $23.80 per item in the box and so my profit on this little thing was 20 cents individually so now let's go over what my profit looked like from the thread up box so I did time myself photoing all five items I started at 2.44 p.m. and I ended at 2.59 p.m. so it took me a total of 15 minutes to photo everything about an hour to list everything and about 15 minutes to unbox everything so I have in total an hour and 30 minutes invested in the box my total cost was hundred and nineteen dollars again that does include taxes shipping everything that I paid the total sales price for all five items came out to two hundred and forty dollars but after Poshmark fees, which is the platform that I chose to list and sell them on, Poshmark does take 20%. So after fees, that comes out to $192. And so when you take that $192 and subtract it from my cost, $119, my total profit was $73. So if I spent an hour and a half working on the box that comes out to $49 per hour that I made which honestly I feel like is not bad however I think it's a good kind of rainy day activity like I think it would be kind of fun and maybe a good idea to have to work on these boxes like on a rainy day I would not you know spend my prime time Monday through Friday uh, working with thread up boxes and it also does vary totally 100% by what you get in the box and you just cannot predict that. Some boxes will be better than others, some will be great, some will be terrible. So you know you really, if this is your full-time job, you really don't want to have all of that uncertainty there in my opinion. I also would not order these boxes if I did not have a YouTube channel because the revenue from the unboxing videos does help me to recoup that investment that I spend and so yeah I just to be totally transparent and honest I would not order these again if I did not make revenue back from unboxing them but $49 per hour is not too bad you just kind of have to weigh the pros and cons there's a lot of uncertainty there with it being a mystery box but you know that's not a bad profit I would say Okay, so with all that being said, let's keep going. We now have a three item bundle and two of these were relisted items. This Free People draped asymmetric dress, this is from Free People Beach, was relisted. I've had this for, I would say two or three months now, which I was kind of surprised about because the beach line within the free people brand usually does sell really quickly for me I'm gonna wrap this one separate and then the next one I know I have been stressing this a lot recently but you guys really do need to be relisting especially if it is so easy like with posture VA it's literally just a click of a button you go in and say how many you want relisted I try to do 25 per day I don't always remember to do it but when I can I do and at least one or two items usually sell from that little relisted batch pretty much immediately also a relist sale this top shop drape front mini dress I got this in a thread up mystery clothing box from a long time ago and so yeah I've had this for over a year now third and final piece to sell in the bundle is this wool blend gradient stripe flyaway back sweater from Prana I love selling Prana 
I most prefer their athleisure style dresses because they're so practical, they're sweat wicking, they're comfy, but sweaters and jackets sell well also, especially if they have a good fabric content, like this one was a wool blend. So for the three of these, I sent a, the buyer added the three to a bundle and then kind of went quiet. And I was really excited to see some interest on the two dresses because like I said, I have had them for a while now. And so I went ahead and sent her a $55 offer with discount ship, which was accepted. That made my earnings $41. I paid about five for everything. And so my profit came up to around $36 on this bundle, which I'm super happy with. I always am so excited to move out older inventory and relist that money into faster selling items and get those in and out the door. I made a matcha latte today. I don't really ever drink matcha lattes, but that sounded really good and it is so tasty right now. So I'm loving that if anyone was wondering. Okay, next up we have this pair of Tory Burch booties. These were kind of an interesting sell. So I sold these a long time ago, like a couple years ago. And they are missing the, they used to have like half of the Tory Burch logo uh, glued onto the side of them, like a gold metal Tory Burch logo. But whoever owned these previously, peeled that off or got it off somehow on both boots. So it's just a plain black. You can kind of see where the logo once was. It doesn't really interfere too much with the boots. They're still really nice, high quality leather boots. So I still picked them up from the bins. So yeah, I originally sold these boots a couple years ago. And I think for like $30. And I sent them out, I shipped them out, but then they got rerouted back to me. I think the buyer's address was like wrong or something happened with the delivery. And so I reached out to the buyer multiple times. Like they never updated their address. Something was wrong with the address. And so I reached out to them multiple times and said like, hey, we need to get this fixed. And I think they just like never got back to me. And so I've just had them sitting on my shoe rack for a couple of years now because like I felt weird about selling them again because this person had already paid for them. So I wonder, I'm curious, are they just like, was, were my earnings ever released? This was so long ago that, let's see, Tory Burch boots. We are going to get to the bottom of this right now booties. Okay. Yeah. They sold the first time for $34 with no shipping discount. Okay. I said, hi there. These boots were returned to me with a vacant label written on the package. Did you want to update your address and then I can ship it back out? And then I said, hi there. I went to ship these back out, but couldn't because I didn't have a new shipping label. I immediately emailed Poshmark and they said, after they reach out to you, they will send me a new label. They never got back to me. I'm pretty sure I reached out a couple more times, like maybe on their profile, but yeah, I mean, I think my earnings were released on these. So yeah, I feel terrible about that. I mean, I'm pretty sure I did my hardest to kind of figure it out, but anyway, so I ended up just relisting them again about a week ago and they sold like within a couple days again. I listed them at 38. Someone liked them. And so I sent them out a $34 offer with discount ship that was accepted. And so my earnings were $24 and 22 cents. 
Uh, I paid around two for them at the bins originally. And so my profit was $22.22 on these boots. So I'm happy to finally get these out of my office, get them gone. They were taking up precious space on my shoe rack. I think I'm gonna have to go through and kind of declutter my shoes because I have had some for a long time that I got in like thread up mystery boxes or just shoes that I wouldn't have personally sourced that have been hanging around for a while. And some that I did source that have been hanging around. So yeah, I need to weed some out here. Okay, next. Oh, we have another bundle, two piece. So this Madewell sweater I just listed a couple days ago. I think it sold same day or next day. I had a lot of interest on it. Madewell sweaters that are a merino wool or alpaca blend are some of my fastest sellers in general. Like Madewell can sell, can take a while to sell for me, but specifically their sweaters in their coziest yarn fabric sell phenomenally for me. Second piece, I have had this sweater for a couple months now. The brand is Gerard Daryl. I'd never heard of it, but it had the word Paris on the tag and the tag just looked really expensive. I could also feel that it was a nice quality material and it had this large novelty cat print on the front. Yeah, this is 90% wool, 10% cashmere. So very high quality piece. I think this retailed for around $400 if I'm remembering correctly. This sweater, this cheetah sweater was relisted. So when the two of these were added to a bundle, the bundle price came out to $153. And I was offered 90, which I accepted. That made my earnings $72. I paid around $4 for both sweaters. And so my profit came out to 68 on this bundle. I think these will fit in an envelope. I love shipping in these Tyvek envelopes. Again, I order these for free from USPS.com because they are waterproof. So I do not have to worry about rain or the elements, if you will. Now we have a little slip dress, slip mini dress from Brandy Melville. These little dresses from Brandy Melville, they don't sell for much by any means, mainly because they're not super substantial. You guys know I do like to stick to more substantial items, but I do always get these because they do always sell and they're really easy to photo and list. I listed this one at 28 and was offered 20, which I accepted. That made my earnings 16 and my profit around $15. So a super easy $15 profit. I mean, that's lunch for the day. So you really can't beat that. When this is your full-time job, everything adds up. And, you know, it's really just not in your best interest to kind of stick your nose up at certain brands or styles or whatever. Like, I, I will sell anything if I know for a fact that it will sell quickly and or consistently. Alrighty. This same kind of thing, not a, sub not a super substantial piece. It's just a mall brand, American Eagle, but this did have a lot going for it. It's a size extra large. It's a uh, slouchy kind of boyfriend style. Cardigans are one of my best selling clothing categories. It's a trendy, fun mustard yellow color. And the seasonality is good on this. This is a great transitional weather piece, which we are moving into, which I'm so excited about. Houston has been in the hundreds for so long now, and we are finally moving out of that. I can sit on my porch now and do some listing. Yeah, it's 81 degrees. It's been, I would go from my apartment to my car 
and I would just be like exhausted because of how hot it was outside. So yeah, I am thrilled to get a little bit of a break from that. So this sweater I listed at 30. Someone offered me 20, which I countered back to 25. They countered me again at 23, and then I countered them back at 24. I really wanted 25 for this, but 24 was fine. They accepted that. My earnings were $19.20, and my profit was $17.20 on that sweater. Another sweater. This one is so cute. This is by P.O.L. Oversized, chunky knit, kind of has that eyelash texture to it. Very cozy, oversized buttons. I love this. I actually received this in a mystery inventory box from Courtney, who is Magnolia Thrifts on YouTube, and I think also Instagram. I wanna say that's her Instagram handle, Magnolia Thrifts. Go check her out on YouTube, go subscribe. She has been posting thrift hauls. She sent me some mystery inventory boxes and I've just been kind of slowly but surely selling a lot of the items from those boxes. She actually just messaged me saying she sent out three more yesterday and so they should be arriving this Friday. What is today? Today is Wednesday. So yeah, close to this weekend, which I am so excited about. She's seriously the sweetest person ever. And honestly, getting extra inventory without having to spend hours and hours finding it has been such a blessing for me. I am stretched so thin in my business that any little break I can get is just such a relief. So yeah, I'm so grateful for that connection I have made. And I do highly recommend her YouTube channel. She has some fun thrift hauls on there. Again, that's Magnolia Thrips. So yeah, this P.O.L. cardigan I listed at 32. Someone offered me 25, which I accepted, and my earnings were 20. So anytime the box is kind of overstuffed like this, I will also take these priority mail, mail sticker sheets and just kind of reinforce the adhesive by going over both sides. I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. That just kind of keeps it secure, keeps everything locked in. It's also easy for the buyer to remove when they are un unboxing the piece. Okay, last couple sales to package up today. Both midi dresses or maxi dresses. I don't know, one of the two. Our first is by Beach Lunch Lounge a solid bread and butter seller for me. This is so cute. It's like an eye cat print with cinching, smocking at the chest area. I love the color on this. It's a size large, excellent condition. So pretty. I listed this at 32 and someone liked it. So again, my Posture VA sent them out a $28 offer with discount ship that was accepted, making my earnings $19.42. I paid around two for this at the bins. It does have quite a bit of material to it, so it's a little bit heavier. And my profit was $17.42. Add my thank you sticker, grab my envelope throw my label on. Okay, and our very last sale to package up today is this Jams World dress, maxi dress, I believe. It's a novelty print. It's a bamboo print. In the thrift haul, I was showing this, and it was so close to my face that I couldn't really make out what the print was. It just looked kind of leafy, but from afar, you can definitely tell that it's bamboo. I like the natural or the neutral 
color scheme of this. A lot of Jams World dresses and tops are so colorful, which is fun, but I'm a neutral girl. So yeah, I like this particular piece a lot. I had this listed at 45. Someone liked it, and so again, my Posture VA sent them out a $40 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, and so my earnings were 29, and my profit came out to 27 on this dress. So super happy with that. Jams World is a solid seller. If you can find their Hattie dress, H-A-T-T-I-E, it's like a mini length dress with a drop waist. That sells the best. And you do want to make sure that you include Hattie as keywords in both the title and description. People search those out. They collect the different prints. And make sure you don't undervalue it because a lot of them, or some of them can sell for a lot. So... That is absolutely everything for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.